Welcome back to the Luxury Home Show. On today's episode, you're joining Tom and I in Bath, and we're gonna be checking out this detached contemporary home listed for just under four million pounds. It was designed by award-winning architects, Stonewood Design. Completed in 2021, Glass House is built of Bath stone. It's laid out over two split level floors and a basement, and we have five bedrooms all together, all of which are en suite. The architecture throughout this home is incredible. On the top floor, it's actually cantilevered. So when we head up there, you'll see that in more detail. Now the property is listed for 3.995 million pounds with fine and country. So the details will be down in the description below. Now, check out the exterior. We have a triple car garage with the EV charging ports, but in addition to that, this huge stone driveway, you've got access to the property via electric gates, and just the profile is stunning, isn't it, Tom? 1,000%, I love it. <laughs> We've got two access points into the property itself. The main door under the kind of garden terrace area. Yeah, it's like a rock garden. Yeah, it's very, very, zen. very zen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And then we have another access point next to the garage that leads into the utility room. So that's perfect for a muddy dog walk. Now the property altogether has just over 6,100 square feet. So should we go explore it? Let's do it. Let's go. So we're coming in from the main access point now. We actually have fingerprint access to get into here, very high tech. And this door's from Latvia. So we have the entrance space here, skylight above, and straight opposite we have this WC. Lovely, dark, glossy, porcelain tiles all the way throughout. Skylight once again, and that really creates some nice like, light and it reflects because of the gloss, which is brilliant. You'll see as we make our way through here how important the glazing is. And this room is the showstopper, don't you think, Tom? Amazing, look at these ceiling heights. I know, right? This is my favorite room because first of all, we have a bespoke library. It's even got the ladder you can slide along and pick some books off the shelves. <laughs> I love that. And then you can see the ceiling heights are incredible. That's reflected on the glazing next to Tom. You have these double height windows allowing loads of light to flood on in. And let's not forget this staircase. How unique is that? Beautiful. I like the harsh lines throughout, yeah. really contrast the nice soft feeling of this room. Got the piano here, bespoke shelving, inset into the wall here, and then that light oak chevron flooring all the way throughout. Now, before we continue with the tour, it's time to thank today's sponsors. Foreo. Now I'm on camera presenting three to four times a week and I want my skin to look its best, especially for all of you watching at home on your big TVs. Now, even if you're not a skincare fanatic like Jazz, keep watching because this could be the perfect present for your partner. I've been using Foreo's Luna 4 for the past few months now. It's a two-in-one cleansing and firming device made of ultra hygienic silicon touch points that are 35 times more hygienic than brushes with nylon bristles. It's also proven to remove 99% of dirt, oil, and makeup residue. I use the cleansing mode in the evening after I've taken my makeup off, and I link my device to the app and it guides me through everything. I also use it in the morning after a shower. The firming massage mode uses relaxing T-sonic pulsations. The guided massage treatments are on the Foreo app, which helps to improve lymphatic drainage, which then boosts radiance and reduces puffiness. There are three colors and types, one for balanced skin, one for sensitive skin, and then one for combination. So depending on what skin type you have, there's one for you. This product is rarely on discount. So for the first 100 viewers of this episode, head to the link in our description box for an exclusive 21% off the Luna 4. It's the best time of year to get one, especially with Christmas right around the corner. Now, if all the reasons I've given you haven't quite persuaded you to get one of these yet, then this will. For the ultimate spa experience, just ask your boyfriend to do it. As I mentioned before, the house is laid out into two split level floors. As you can see here, we come down the stairs onto the carpeted 
area and we have this lounge. Now there's tons of glazing. The garden's actually south facing so the sun just floods on in here and later we're actually gonna check out the garden once the sun set. It looks really pretty. Double height ceilings. We have this beautiful kind of lateral slate feature wall with the fireplace and TV in set. We even have the Sonos speaker throughout here too. You can open the doors up and it kind of creates an overhanging effect for this room because you've got that dual aspect. And then we have another beautiful chandelier. But Tom, let's head on back up. Where are we going now? We're gonna head into the main kind of open plan living area through here. Okay. Firstly, in this area, we have the bar. Now you've got that same dark material we saw in the bathroom with the white veinage, very well equipped. We've got plenty of storage and a wine cooler down here and this beautiful splash back here is that kind of stained antique glass. The bar stools this side, it's a very sociable area. This house was designed to entertain, for families to gather and have a great time. You can imagine at Christmas, it'd be really nice. Here we have our pool table in the middle, that chevron flooring continuing all the way through, and we've got the glass walls on either side, so you can see straight through the house, essentially. Yeah, I like the rock garden. Yeah, so that's the rock garden we saw at the front. And then behind Tom, we access the pool and outdoor areas. Next part, we have this lovely, it's very cozy seating area with the fire here and the TV once again set into the wall. Slightly lower ceiling heights in here, but you have the recesses above with that ambient lighting too. <laughs> kitchen we have the main island in the middle now it's actually this quartz style stone material and I love the way that this breakfast bar more of a table really hangs off the edge and it's a huge contrast because it's that nice dark wood surrounding the island we have the black wooden cabinets we've got tons of storage haven't we Tom absolutely massive check out all this space we've got the wine cooler right next to Tom there behind me the Gaganal appliances Plenty of them as well. We even have one of those little push plates that reveals the plugs. <laughs> oh yeah. I love them. And yet another skylight. So really bright in here, even though the, everything's quite dark. Now in the middle of the island, we have the Bora venting hob, so no need for an ugly extractor fan above. More storage behind here. And then over on this side, we actually have this Decton material for the surfaces. And I love the addition of all the plants. They even have one of these like, oh, they're called like a biosphere or something like that, Tom, where it's yeah. like, it's our own habitat inside a jar and I really want one, so that's why I'm mentioning it. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah. We have the Kuka Tap over here. Down below, you can see all the up lighting and there's actually- <laughs> You find it. Yeah, <laughs> a control. I think if you press like the number first. Okay, and I can- So that's number one up there. Press number one. Okay, one. Now the color. <gasps> there you go. You got everywhere. Whoa, look, and if I- do this wee. Wow, party time. Definitely yeah. an entertaining house, huh? Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm gonna. Before I go back to white. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in the slot on the wall. We also have the heat miser system. It's worth noting there are 24 solar panels up on the roof above, and there's a heat recovery system, so the house stays so warm, which is good because you have so much glazing and so many doors. Yes. Okay, now through here we have our utility space. We have that same Decton material on the surfaces, an extra sink, and then over this way we have more storage, again, with the washing machines and the fridge freezer. Now, if I head through here, we have access into our triple car garage we showed you in the beginning, but we also have access out to the front of the property again, which I also mentioned in the beginning. So this is a great place to bring your dog in, I think after a muddy walk, clean him off so he doesn't go straight into the house and kind of acts as a boot room section as well. Yeah, and then awesome. if it's raining and you want to bring groceries in from your car, you just come through that door. Yeah, perfect. Now it's time to head down to the basement. I love these strip lighting on the stairs as well as the glass and balustrades really adds to that contemporary feel this house gives off. I really like the dark wood. Yeah, 100%, that nice contrast, isn't it? Yeah. Let's head into the bathroom first down here. We have the walk-in shower, now Tom, likes this bathroom because we have a huge tile here, don't we, Tom? Yeah, essentially it's the whole width of that wall. Yeah, it is huge. Very impressive. And then I really like the basin in here. Oh, I thought yeah. that was quite unique. Tube. 
Yeah. I like the dark doors all the way throughout as well, matching the stairs. Mm -hmm. Straight across from the bathroom, we have this gym space slash office workout area. I suppose this is a work room because you can work out and work. Nice one, Jazz. <laughs> Comedy Central. Thanks. <laughs> you also have access to a terrace out there as well. Yeah, and that's actually protected by the cantilevered section of the house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it acts as a bit of a roof slash shelter for it. I love that. Now in here, we have the cinema room. Wowza. Oh, crazy, oh yeah. yeah, I could fall asleep. Tiered seating, Yeah. very cozy in here. Yeah, I feel like you need tiered seating in a cinema room so that the people at the back can see. Yes. You know? We've got the Sony projector, speakers in the ceiling and the spotlighting that you can dim over here. So, oh, nice. Yeah. And then we also have access out there. Should we head on up, Tom? Let's do it. Actually, before we head on up, Look at this. What are you got? What are you taking us? Oh Ooh, my it's a dark God, room. Into a dark room. I don't know where the light Automatic is. Automatic lights, I think. Okay. There it is. Whoa. Here we have the brains of the house. There's a lot of smart tech throughout here, so you need a room of this size down here. Now, top tip for all of those of you with the plant room, hang your laundry in here because it gets warm. Yeah. <laughs> Let's head on back upstairs. Now on this section of the split level, we have this wing containing three bedrooms. Now they've all got their own unique ensuite, which really makes each room personal to the occupant. But we're gonna head to the one at the end because it's got my favorite bathroom. So we'll start in the actual room itself. All three bedrooms have access out to a shared balcony, which is a great feature. And they also have this inbuilt storage. It looks very seamless and fits the kind of nice minimal vibes in each of the rooms. Do you want to see the ensuite, Tom? Yeah, come on in. So whoever lives in this room definitely got the best deal because it has a bath, whereas the other ones don't. We've got the walk-in shower with the textured tiles, skylights in each of the bathrooms as well, and the nice gray tiles on the floor. And then here we have the basin with the light up mirror behind it. Let's head on out up to the next part of this split level, check out the principal suite and guest bedroom. As I come up here, I just wanna point out the feature wall that runs all the way down by the stairs. How stunning, Tom, it kind of looks like that glittery quartz. Yeah, it's like crystallized, isn't it? Yeah, but this is the guest bedroom. So we have the full length window here. You've got really good views from all the way up here. You can see down into the valley. You can also see some fields, there's some cows, and then down to the pool. Nice size ensuite with the black circular mirror. Love that. Two tone all the way throughout here, especially with the nice porcelain oyster as well. Yeah. Let's head to the principal suite. So we'll start in the bedroom first. We have this very grand wooden four poster bed. Kind of reminds me of the one we actually saw in Caberswall Castle. So yeah. if you haven't seen that episode, we'll link it up above now. We compared two different castles, mini versus mega. But in here, we also have a balcony again. You can open those doors up and the sun comes flooding in. And then we have dual aspect as you've got the windows here too. I can even see the moon outside. Wow. Yeah, the sun is starting to set. I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing the garden. Me too. So first room off the principal suite is the dressing room. Great size, tons of storage, and you've got the frosted window for privacy too. Not that there's anyone really around. It's such a like peaceful and secure plot. Very set back from the yeah, road, isn't it? Definitely. And then this ensuite, this one's the best, obviously. So we'll start here. We have the twin basins, this huge mirror running the whole length of the wall, the bath next to me, once again, frosted window, but check this out. Oh, wow. So we have this dual shower, we've got two of them. You know, the ones with the jets that come out at every angle. The human car wash. Yeah, the human car wash, nice. Huge glass screen. And then we even have a little seat in here. Oh, that feels good. Yeah, I can imagine this turning into a steam room. Mm. It'll be so nice. And then the floor is really beautiful as well. Kind of reminds me of walking through a Mediterranean village somewhere. Yeah. Kind of like that. We're now in the garden. Up here we have this lovely seating area. We also have a table tennis section and the barbecue that's set into that bath stone. I'm gonna step down now. It's nice, got nice tiers to it, this garden. We are like in a valleyed area, I suppose you could say. So I can imagine building this house would have actually been 
quite troublesome. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> There's so many tons of steel gone into this house. Yeah. As you can tell from the design, it's not a traditional one. No, definitely not. The owner, who was the developer as well, was saying he does a lot of overseas work and this is the kind of inspiration, that Spanish Marbella villa here yeah, in Bath. you could definitely see this somewhere yeah. Mediterranean, couldn't you? Yeah, definitely. We've got a pond over to my right, tons of trees. We even have a palm tree that the owner got from next door. They cut theirs down, but he managed to replant it, so it's there. And then, obviously, we have the swimming pool, the centerpiece. Oh, it looks stunning, especially with the bright blue tiles all the way throughout. And yeah, have a look at the house with the lights on. Doesn't it look just serene? Yeah, it's my favorite time of day for these house tours. Yeah. The lights glowing, the twilight. Yeah, it looks awesome. Definitely. So if you've liked this video, be sure to subscribe, give us a like, comment if you want to see more houses like this, and also comment down below if you've seen a house that you want us to tour. We have a few requests from you guys, but we'd love to see more. If you've seen a house somewhere and you think, oh, Luxury Home Show should tour that, let us know. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.